So Deb, this is the machine that somebody would be using at home if they were doing their peritoneal dialysis at night. It's called the Home Choice Cycler. It's much smaller actually than I expected. It's um, it sits beside their bed. Yeah. It weighs about 28 pounds. And then we put these solutions um, one bag on top of the machine mm -hmm. and a couple of bags beside or below the machine. Um, so um, we, don't, we don't give people a special table to use, but anything it's that's like fairly your, sturdy at home will like work. It's like an outside table. Yeah. What kind of Correct. Yeah. Um, the machine is uh, supplied. Uh, people don't have to pay for their machines. Mm -hmm. um, and all the supplies that they would need to do their dialysis are um, paid for by the province. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't cost anything to do your dialysis at home. Um, when somebody is going to set themselves up to do their dialysis, it would be every night. every night. And this is the amount of supplies that somebody would typically use for their treatment for one night. So what we see here will be one night one night yeah okay. so there's a little bit of garbage so right. sometimes we'll help people out with that and give their municipality a letter just explaining that they may have more garbage created right supply storage is an issue for some people if you're living in a very small space you can imagine there's boxes to store the solutions and they'll be delivered monthly and sometimes we'll cut that back to every couple of weeks so right. that somebody so who doesn't got a have a lot of space, space. that's right, right. So to set up the machine each night, um, you would turn it on at the back. Okay, so it wants me to load the set. And the set refers to the bit of equipment here that joins up all the bags together. Okay. We open up the door. Mm -hmm. We load the set into the machine. Mm. And it snaps right in there. We close the door. And it holds all our lines together. Each line will go to a bag. Okay. Oh, I see. So each one of these bags is hooked up then. Right. Once we've done what it said, we're going to press uh, go, go again. It's going to do a little test. And while it's doing its test, I'm just going to continue on. Sure. All these lines look a little confusing. It looks mm -hmm. a little bit like an octopus, but... Um, we just go in order. We start with the line on this side here. It's what we call the drain line. And the machine, when it's draining fluid out um, during the nighttime, it can either drain into a bag that we can attach to, or it can just simply go into the washroom. Okay. And it will drain down the tub drain or the shower drain or even the toilet in the okay. washroom. So if you don't uh, have the machine near your washroom, we will just use a line and make it long enough to go to the bathroom. Oh, so people worry about that sometimes. Right. They yes. worry about where the machine's going to drain to. Right. So right. we just add a extension line huh. up to a couple of these, just so you can drain right into the bathroom Perfect. during the night. And you can make that line as long as you want to reach someone's um, washroom. And then um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get somebody to wash their hands and mm -hmm. put a mask on because we're going to be connecting the bags and we like to do that cleanly. Right. And so hand washing is very important. Once it's done its self-test, it's going to ask me to connect up all the bags. So to connect all the bags, we just take the ends off and connect the lines to the bags. One. And are all these bags the same? Um, are they all this, the same content or is it different? Yes, it is. Each bag has a specific color tab. Right. There's two here that are the same and one is different. Okay. So do most people do this themselves or do they have um, a caregiver that supports them through this process? It depends. A lot of people do it themselves. Um, if somebody is a little bit more frail and finds that the bags are too heavy mm -hmm. or the connections are a little bit difficult to do, we have a good uh, program that started here in um, uh, Vancouver Island in the last couple of months where we can refer somebody for PD Assist. A caregiver that is trained to do the setup will come into the home 
get the bags out, put them on the machine, set the machine up, and even take it down the next day to set up again um, wow. for the person that might be a little bit more frail. Or let's say your caregiver, who normally does it for you, broke their arm right. and needs a little bit of help. Yes. We have the ability to do short-term or long-term assistance. So someone could have support coming in in the evening to help set up and then again in the morning to help? They would typically come once a day. So right. a person would come once a day, they would pull the machine down from the night before, set it right back up again for that night, just one visit the day right. during the day. And they right. predetermine the time that's going to work best for both. Oh, well, that's, that would be a huge help to some people. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. been able, people are able to stay on PD at home a little bit longer if they can have that little bit of extra help. Extra support. Oh, well, that's good to know.